Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss integrated reporting, integrated thinking, and as a result, the byproduct, the integrated report itself. Now, what is integrated reporting? Well, integrated reporting is a way to, to present a company's overall performance in one report. What do we mean one report rather than two? Or it could be one report or two reports, but they are connected. What we look at is both financial and non-financial information. So traditionally, when we think of a report, we would think about a financial report, like in the US a 10K or an annual report for the company, where it shows financial data, the balance sheet, the income statement, and other financial data and notes. What we are looking at here is to have one report combining, combining financial and non-financial information or data about the company, such as its environmental impact and social impact, among other things. So taking this two pieces of information, the traditional report, integrating it, combining it, and connecting those two, financial and non-financial information, to give a full picture of how a company creates value. Now, what does create value mean? We're going to discuss this in a separate session, how to create value. It means create a return, create growth, generate profit to the users, to the stakeholders, to the investors, to everyone that's involved. So the assumption, the assumption here, instead of looking at financial results alone, which is the traditional method, what we do now is we looked at other things, not only financial results, we look at good governance, strong relationship with stakeholders, which is the community, the suppliers, the customers, and the use of natural resources that affect the business. So the goal from this report, from, in this, from this integrated report, is to combine financial and non-financial information. So capital providers, specifically the people that finance the company, they have they believe in the company they don't only believe in their numbers that they are profitable believe means they they want to invest in the company but they also believe this company is doing in quote good the way they are performing in the community and the society so this is what we will discuss a little bit more in depth in this session let's go ahead and get started before we proceed any further i have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com Hello everyone, are you struggling with your CMA exam preparation? Do you feel that your review course is moving too fast, too brief, or not covering topics in depth? Well, if that's the case, at Farhat Lectures, we can help you. We build your confidence through in-depth explanation, not memorization or reading the slides. What we will do is we provide baby steps approach to break down complex topic so you can truly learn, understand the material. How do we do so? We offer video lectures, we offer practice MCQs, we offer true-false questions, we offer exercises, we offer the notes. Understanding the material is the first step in passing the exam. Once you understand the material, you have gained the confidence to pass and you can pass with Farhat lectures. What can you do now? Start your free trial. You have a two-day free trial. Take a look at it. Give us a chance. Your risk is zero. You like it, you keep it. You don't like, you cancel. Give us a chance. We can help you pass the CMA exam. So what's the purpose of integrated reporting? Well, it's to provide capital providers with deeper insight, broader, broader perspective into how the company generates, sustains, and diminishes value over time. So how am I doing, not only from a financial, but also from a non-financial perspective? So the report serves other stakeholders, including employees, customers, and suppliers, as well as local communities and regulators, who are interested in the company ability to generate value, create value effectively. Because the main purpose of an annual report, usually the main purpose of a financial annual report is targeting capital providers, usually the investors. Here we are looking to serve other users. So when we say stakeholders, it means everybody else other than the financier, which is the employees, the customer, supplier, local communities. We want to tell them more about the company and how we are generating, sustaining, 
and diminishing value or diminishes value over time how does the company generate value and what's value creation again we will this will have a separate recording for value creation just hold on that this is an overview of the integrated reporting so what is an integrated report to make it simpler we, we use an example this is the integrated report for anglo-american a mining company this is their integrated report for 2023 you can download it and this is a con table of content about what they cover we're going to select bits and pieces from it here and there specifically we're going to look at integrated reporting so what is integrated reporting so notice here creating value for our stakeholders again stakeholders as anybody anybody that's somehow involved or touched by the company like who customers suppliers employee the local community regulators government every everyone else so let's let's read what they wrote and kind of put it into perspective Anglo-American is re-imaging re mining to improve people's life. Is this what companies do? Improve people's life? No. Companies create value for the shareholders. But what we're trying to say here is we are doing something else to create value, and that's improve people's life. How? Mining has a safer, smarter, more sustainable future using more precise technology, less energy, and less water we aim to reduce our environmental footprint for every ounce, carat, and kilogram of precious metal or mineral we are basically extracting. So this is how we are improving people's life, by using less resources, less water. Why? Because we want to conserve energy. Why? Because that's good for the env environment. We are combining smart innovation with operational excellence and the utmost consideration of our people, their families, local communities, our customers, and the, and the world at large to better connect precious resources in the ground to all of us who need and value them. So, so the company's goal is to generate profit for the shareholders. But what they are saying is they're doing more than that. Now, why are they doing more than that? Because they want to appeal to investors, delivering sustainable financial return. They believe if they are, in quote, nicer, or if they treat the environment better, if they treat their employees better, this is going to generate more sustainable financial return to the investors, to the capital providers. So why are we doing this? Because we believe it's good and financially it's good for the investors. So maybe some investors, they will invest in this company. Maybe the company is not making, for example, if they're choosing between company A and company B, and company A is creating, in quote, value, not in quote, creating value for the stakeholders, through this integrated reporting, the investors might invest in company A because company A is taking care of the environment, taking care of its people. So this is what they are trying to do, create value, not just financial value. So if you have to invest, but choose between company A that does this type of work and company B that does not, that they don't care about the environment, they don't care about their employees, or at least if they care, they don't explicitly state it, the money will go to company A. This is the assumption, because why we are using sustainable financial return. We are taking care of our employees in the long run. In the long run, we do better. This is what integrated reporting. Now, what is integrated thinking? Actually, integrated thinking comes before integrated reporting. It's the mindset. Mindset. It's the culture of the company. It's the thinking behind integrated reporting. So this comes first. First, the company will have to think in an integrated way. Then next execute their thinking so integrated thinking is the mindset is the comp does the company buy into this process and we'll talk about that later on a little bit more in depth what creates this integrated integrated thinking or integrated culture within the company this means that a company considers means think about how all parts of the business such as finances operation people and environmental impact are connected and affect each other so and affect each others so we don't only look at finances when we're making a decision we look at how finances affect operation affect people affect the environment we don't only look at the environment to make a decision we look at how the environment affect the people and here affecting me negatively affect or positively affect for that matter but we're looking at everything when we are making a decision so decisions are not being made in silo without their influence on other factors so when the company uses integrated thinking it makes decision by considering both short term as well as long term effect on all aspects of the business and its stakeholders and what does that mean 
it means let's assume we are producing something that's going to pollute the water well if we if we produce something and dump that waste in the local river that's going to save us money because all we have to do is dump the waste in the local river that's short term we're not thinking about the overall effect on the environment what's the overall effect is negative on the environment and the local community will not be happy because you did what you poisoned their water so you're not thinking about the long-term effect so integrated thinking is thinking about these things before we get there and this leads to more sustainable and well well-rounded decision making the best way is to go back and look at the example of anglo american annual report so what do they say about integrated thinking innovation this is part of the report on page 42 across every aspect of our business we are thinking innovatively to ensure the safety of our people to enhance the sustainability of our business and to deliver enduring value in its many forms to our stakeholders so they are explicitly saying we are thinking about every one and everything so anglo-american applies integrated thinking by considering how environmental factor like water availability and social factor like local employment affect their ability to operate profitably so they're only they're not only thinking about their profit they're thinking about how environmental factors social factors affect their profit so by investing in water efficient mining technology which is water efficient mining technology could be costlier the cost could go up they would reduce their environmental footprint which in turn helps maintain good relationship with local communities and ensure they can continue operation in a water scarce region so yes their costs go up that's the negative the positive is they're going to stay longer in that community they're, they're gonna, might they might employ people so yes we're not you know maybe it's not the most cost efficient way to invest in these technologies but in the long run it's better for us so this holistic approaches improve the reputation and reduce long-term risk benefiting both the company and the stakeholders stakeholders is anybody else outside the company that that could be touched by the company so this is what integrated thinking is all about thinking about how would my decisions affect other aspect of the company's environment local community the people, their customers, their suppliers, so on and so forth. And what's the end product or the byproduct of integrated reporting and integrated thinking? You guessed it. The report itself is the outcome of the integrated reporting and integrated thinking. Within the context of the organization external environment, it communicate how strategy, governance, performance, and future prospect contribute to value creation over the short term, medium, and long term. Again, we go back to this term, value creation. What is value creation? Don't worry, we're going to discuss value creation in the next session, including an example, a practical example. But I just want to, I want you to make sure to remember that value creation is something good. We're creating value to everyone. So, and how, how do we prepare this report? We are guided by principle-based framework, which we'll talk about in a separate recording. The integrated report offer a comprehensive view of the organization for all relevant stakeholders. And we would look at how to build this report. There's one session about the content, about the elements of the report itself. But what's the report? It's telling you how well we are doing, not only financially, but how are we operating our company in a way that is friendly to, this, to all stakeholders, to the environment, to the people, to the community so on and so forth a little bit of history about integrated reporting it's it started to gain momentum in 2010 with the creation of something called the international integrated reporting council or iiirc this is a principle-based international framework principle-based it means they don't tell you exactly what to do they give you principles they give you guidance for the organization to prepare this integrated reports the goal again is to link capital allocation with corporate activities for sustainable growth using integrated thinking and reporting this is what we just talked about here how can we benefit the capital allocation to sustainable growth through integrated thinking well the framework primarily target financial capital providers financier in the private sector it aims to become the global corporate reporting standard so this th this was the goal of it in 2021 the iirc merged with the sustainability accounting standard board sasb to form the value reporting foundation vrf 
And guess what? In 2022, a year later, VRF was integrated with the IFRS Foundation, aligning integrated reporting with the IFRS standards. And this is why we have to learn about this. It's part of the IFRS standards, International Financial Reporting Standard, the international gap. As of right now, this is not required for US gap. Again, as of yet, this is covered on the CMA exam because they do cover they do cover it because the CMA is an international foundation. As I mentioned, I kept using this word value creation. But what is value creation? This is this was just an introductory lesson about integrated reporting and integrated thinking. This is what we will discuss next. What is value creation in the context of integrated thinking and integrated reporting? Let's take a look at this multiple choice question from FarhatLectures.com. Which of the following is a key characteristic of integrated reporting? Simply put, you know the basic definition of integrated reporting. A. Focus on short-term financial gain. Do we need to focus on short-term financial gain? Yes, we need to focus on short-term financial gain. We always have to do that. But is that the key characteristic of integrated reporting? Mm, I would not say so because part of integrated reporting is also looking at the medium and, sh and long term. A combination of financial and non-financial data. Would you say this is a characteristic of integrated reporting? I would say this sounds better than B because Integrated means you are integrating two things. And what are those two things? Financial and non-financial. I will keep B for now. Between A and B, I will keep B. Emphasize solely on regulatory compliance. Do you need to be in compliance with regulatory bodies? And the answer is yes. Is this all what you have to do? Is this a key characteristic? No, this is not the key characteristic of, key characteristic of integrated reporting. Exclusion of environmental consideration? Absolutely not. If anything, it's inclusion of environmental consideration. In other words, take the environment where you operate into consideration. That's part of integrated reporting. I would say the best answer is B, a combination of financial and non-financial data. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, resources that's going to help you, especially if you're studying for your CPA, uh, CMA exam, or it could be CPA exam as well. Invest in yourself. Good luck and stay safe.